What's up, also? What just the one I'm playing today? That's a remix. That's a remix, and I'm actually super excited. Marky Jester presents Panna Der Hedgehog. I don't know if this is that like Swedish. Is it Dutch? It looks like Sonic, but he's kind of purple. She's kind of—I don't know. Is that a guy's thing? I don't know. Let's just press start. Just, just listen. Just listen. That it's it's the rhythm of during the summer from Sonic CD. There's no spinach. Oh, that's crazy. So let's just talk about this for a second. So this is what I look for in a fan game. Like just graphically, the fact that they take Sonic graphics, you got checkerboard hills, but look at what they did to them. They, they kind of like add some shapes and dimension to them. So they kind of look rounded. Like the little blocks look, oh my gosh, just listen. So good. But it looks it looks rounded. And then you look at Sonic Sprite or Panda Sprite here. Look at the way that the quills move. The quills have animation to them. It's so crazy. This is this is insane. Like this is actually this might be the best looking fan game I've played in quite some time. And like there's some good looking fan games. Don't get me wrong. Go check out the playlist. You're in the playlist. Hopefully you're in the playlist. Um, but this is this like I I didn't know what to expect here. All right, what is the speed she's doing? They just make the music faster. There you go. Um, this is looking really good though. So I know nothing about this game. I just know that it's so far so good. Look, oh, look at the look at the the water in front. Like this some this some Stardust Speedway stuff right here. The water's in front of the tiles. That's crazy. That's so good looking. Oh my goodness. I mess with this. I, I fully endorse this. Like if this is running in 2024. You you got my vote. You got my vote, Marky. Like, look at look at the way the palm fronds even the palm fronds. There's some in the front, there's some in the back. The ones in the front are lighter. The ones in the back are darker. Like, you can't, you can't get better than this. Oh, oh, it's, it's a boss. Is this the hole? This better not be the hole. This might be the hole. Is he the hole? Oh, what's he doing? <gasps> oh, no. It's ice physics now. It's ice physics. That's crazy. That yo, this is some. I this is I've not. Does the water? The water's still kind of going. This is so crazy. Even the lighting changed. Like the badniks look different. Yo, this is crazy. How have I never played this game before? Boom! I forgot to do the boom. When you get the shield, you gotta do the boom. Yo, this is so good. Like. This is so good. I'm sorry. This is incredible. Is that? But watch this be. A, this is a death pit here. Watch this be a death pit. That's that's a death pit. So I'm not gonna trust it. How do I get up there though? All right, let's just go down here. Okay, cool. It's not a death. Pit. <gasps> They've reinstated Boulder. Reinstated Boulder. Oh, that's so crazy. That's how you use it. It's ice water. It's ice water. Ice water. Ice melts. Featuring Young Thug. He's in jail now. That's crazy. Um, yo, it's frozen water. It's freaking. What's 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 the what's the level from uh, Sonic Mario Super Mario Three? Frozen, frozen something. You know what I'm talking. Where you put the penguin? The she, the woman's looking the the woman. The penguin's looking for her baby penguin. You just yeet that son of a gun off the ledge because you don't care about that penguin. He'll respawn. It's okay. I'm surprised none of these platforms are falling. Maybe they're frozen in midair. Maybe that's why. Okay, we got... Oh, is that telling me to go up? I thought it was like exclamation point first, but that makes sense. Yo, this is crazy. Um, I don't actually know how long this game is. Let's see what we're looking at. Oh, look at that good moon. That good moon walk. That good moon walk. It's a good moon walk. That's a good moon walk. <gasps> no way. They're doing it both ways. He's doing it both ways. This is crazy. Oh, what is this? The ball. Yo, okay, this is actually the most hype I've ever experienced. Oh, he can get it both ways. Oh, this is gonna be okay. Whoa. Well, well. Okay, so when you jump, it's normal. Is it, okay, no spike list. Spike list actually would have made this boss legit, like legit, legit. One. 
this is actually the craziest boss I've ever fought. Um, like this is so crazy because this is this is how you do good Sonic bosses because it it screws with your mental, it screws with your whole mind frame because you're like, oh junk, I jump, I go this way, but then you can't do that, you can't do that, you can't go the way that you're facing because you you walk backwards like I'm pressing right and I'm going left, but then when you jump it's normal, it just it, it's a cognitive dissonance thing. That's crazy, yo. This might be the this might be the greatest Sonic fan game. Like this is up there with with uh, the tax man's freaking concept that got him the freaking job. The what was that? What was that one he did? It got him the it, it like basically got him the the Sonic CD job. Uh, I forget the name of it. If I remember, I'll put it on screen. But um, the Sonic Nexus. There you go. I don't have to put it on screen now because I remember. I think it was Sonic Nexus, and it was legit like the craziest looking Green Hill knockoff. But it was like. It was better than Green Hill because it, it was Green Hill without it being straight up Green Hill. Uh, how many hits does this mofo take? It was so good. This is like this is the best game because he's just straight up moonwalking. Michael Jackson's moonwalking. I need to play that game at some point because I reference freaking moonwalking in every single episode. You gonna die, my G? Okay, I must be doing something wrong. Okay, I must be doing some. Oh, am I supposed to? Nope. I thought I was maybe he lands on it. Okay, no, it's just hella. It's just hella. This is so wild. Oh, that's it. Music thanks to Car Scozo, Bug Test Players, The Bardman, Rob Joe, Puto. Tweaker. Oh, shout out Tweaker. Aqua Slash. Additional. Okay, this is. That's it. Like it's over. It's over. I love how they hijack the logo too. Like that's so. That's so dope. Um, this. This might be the greatest thing I've ever played. Like it's so good. Like it, amidst all the stuff about Sonic Frontiers and all that crazy. Yeah, this is. This is solid. Like do yourself a favor. Play Panda Derha the Hedgehog. Mystic Island Zone. Oh, so good. Like this might this is one of the most creative games I've played just because in such a small window of time they do so much. Like shout out Marky Jester. Like it's it's just crazy because this is this is literally the feeling I had when I played Sonic Nexus by Christian Whitehead the Tax Man. It just it's it feels like Sonic, but it feels like a logical next step. That's all we're asking for. That's all we're asking for. We're asking for Sonic to do what he did. Do what you did in the leash. Do what you did in generations. Do what you did in Sonic One, Two, and Three and Knuckles. But just, just take it a, a step forward. Doesn't have to be crazy. Just a little bit further. Ask Marky Jackster. Ask the Taxman. Ask freaking, ask freaking uh, what's his name? The dude who plays the music. He don't, he don't even make the games, but he, he does the music. What's my guy's name? I forget his name. Jeez, I can't remember. Um, but you ask a fan to make a Sonic game, yo, Sonic would be the most popular video game character of all time. But uh, that's gonna do it for this episode of one I'm playing. Next time I'll come back, maybe have a whole game for you. But uh, this is this is stellar. Like I don't know how long it took to make this game, but this is stellar. Pat on the back, Marky Jester. Pat on the back. All the people who I couldn't read because I don't read that fast. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.